Maryland third grader Xavier is sharing one of his favorite books with reading expert Linda Farrell. Miss Farrell is going to help him focus on reading every word accurately. Can you read some of this to me? Can you read? Look, we're he heroes because we're, we saved the world from Flippy. This, it says here that scientists are going to study Flippy Brain. Get the S on that. Studies. D. What's this word right here? This one right here. Flippies. Yeah, read that whole thing again. It says here that scientists are going to study Flippy's brain. Keep going. Dog man, I, dog, I have a important job for you. What's that word? And okay, read it again. Dog man, I have a an important job for you. Can you read that? Me an, an important. Read it again. Important. Dog man, I have an important job. Okay, we're gonna do this. Read this with me. An, an important. Important. Now do so. Read an an m m poor tent. tent. Okay, now read it again. Dog man, I have an important job for you. Keep going. Um, One of the things I notice is that teachers often will let an inaccurate reading slip by if the, um, if the meaning isn't changed. Eh, it's close enough. M move on. And that is setting students up for poor comprehension. Take, for example, a sentence like, the horse got a cold. If a student leaves out the article A and reads it, the horse got cold, the meaning changes significantly. That one little word that seems so inconsequential, A, made a difference in meaning. The horse got cold and the horse got a cold is different. We never know when that's going to make a, a difference in comprehension. And we have to build good, strong reading habits for students. And that means as a teacher, it's my job to help my students develop accurate reading habits so that they don't miss a question on a comprehension test because they misread a sentence. They left off an S, they left, off, they left out an article, they added an article. Uh, they read present tense instead of past tense. They read, they read a contraction incorrectly. Um, all those can lead to poor comprehension. And we need in kindergarten, first and second grade, and even third grade to be making sure that our students read accurately. It's our responsibility. Who wants to protect the scientists? Who's a good boy protector? Who's what? Who's a good boy, good protector? Yeah. Who who wants to protect and and survive? And what's that word? Survive. Server. Okay, I'm going to tell you that V is that E is silent. So what does that say? Serve. You got it. So read that again. Who wants to protect and serve? We're teaching students, our children, that every letter does make a difference, and that when you come to an unfamiliar word, you have to pay attention to every letter, and then when you read that word two or three times it then becomes a word that you've seen before and you just read it because it's part of your vocabulary and you've seen that spelling before. And what does he do? Does he save people or? Yeah, he helps people. These are 